Hi. What do I say? <laughs> no, I just find it weird talking about myself. I'm Holly Winterburn, I'm 22, and I play for London Lions. I grew up in Northampton. Home court to me is, I think, definitely London Lions. Just, you know, where, where I found myself and where I took everything to another level. Join the Lions and be happy like Holly. <laughs> Just, I think, the people that I have around me in London, um, I couldn't ask for anything better, so. London's great, I love it. Oh my God, Roche. She is just, honestly, the funniest, not funny person you will ever meet. But we'll be sat on the floor laughing for the whole night. She's just amazing. I can't, I honestly can't say enough good things about her. And I think she's been there for me countless times. Well, she always jokes that I follow her anywhere because she's from Mills Keynes, I'm from Northampton. And we played for the same club when we were younger. And then she went off to Charmwood and then I followed her a few years later. She went to Oregon and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna go to Oregon too. We all, we just wound up back at London Lions again together. So we really like, really created that deep bond. Here we are now living together and yeah, living in her mess that she creates in the apartment. She might come and say on camera, she's the tidy one, but no, I'd be picking up after her every single day. <laughs> My name is Rache Walton. I am 24 years old. I am basketball operation for the London Lions. I'm definitely the tidy one. <laughs> I honestly can't exactly remember how old I was when I met Holly, but I think it was around year eight or year nine. We supported each other in just so many different ways. Like I was able to relate to her, obviously as a basketball player, because I have been a basketball player. She can also help me in other ways that no one else can, because you need the opinions and the, and the perspective of a player to do what I'm doing. I think we get along because we really do bring the best out of each other. We're really honest with each other. So when I go out and I see other people, I meet other people, I'm now the best version of myself because I've got someone in my corner cheering me on and who wants me to do better than I already am. And same thing with her. I want to see her do amazing things and incredible things. <laughs> we need each other in this life for sure. I'm always at all the games. <laughs> I think most recently when we had the cup final, at half time, I was like, how are you feeling? She's like, oh, like, I'm feeling okay. I feel like I could do more. And I was like, the game will come to you. Like, don't worry about it. Um, and then she comes out second half and she's firing and then she wins cup final MVP. She's worked hard enough. Um, she's put in all the hours. We know she's young. Everyone knows she's young. The whole of British basketball knows she's young. Um, but I think she's already done incredible things in her career. And I, I try and remind her of that. She's got it going on. And I think she can really do big things in the female game. I think the thing that I'm most grateful for from, you know, the, that support system around me is just the unconditional love. My boyfriend, oh my God, what an amazing, amazing person. So my boyfriend is the, it's actually him. Oh my God, he's gonna live forever. Oh my God, we were just planning to call you in like 10 seconds. What are you doing right now? Like just telling everyone about my life and obviously you're a big part of my life, so I thought you should be in it. Oh, I, was I was saying some really, really nice things about you. Oh, that's nice. Did you tell them why you're so good at basketball? Because I showed you everything. Is that what you say? Do you want to tell them what happens when we play 1v1? That I win. Oh, what are you doing? Just about to go to training now. OK. That's why. I'll call you later. OK, bye-bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Just for the record, I actually do beat him when we play properly. So he's a basketball player too. Um, we met playing basketball, as you do. We've been together for over five years now, so I've really grown with him and gone through everything with him. Um, and you know, long distance isn't easy. I don't care what anyone says, it's one of the hardest things I do. I miss him a lot, but it's worth it. Love him a lot. Wow, that's cringe. <laughs> Uh, I think anyone, anyone that really knows me again, I'm a complete split of my mum and my dad. Actually, I'm probably a little bit more like my dad in the sense that our personalities are very similar. He's just been a huge supporter of me, like my basketball career, and he's at every single game. No matter if we're in Scotland, we're down in Seven Oaks, at home in London. I think I'm really now beginning to see how much of a privilege that is and how supportive he's been over my whole career. He's got more t-shirts than I do from London Lions. <laughs> I just, everything my mum is, I just adore her and, and she is just the most amazing person, just inside and out, love her so much. 
she is just everything to me. Well, you don't remember when you were tiny, but I remember when you were tiny and you were just so competitive at everything. Always wanted to be first in races, like... I don't want to be a loser now, do I? You were never a loser, darling. <laughs> I think you're an amazing basketball player. Really? You don't even know the rules? No, I still have to ring you afterwards and say, why did that happen? And, Mum, I've told you so many times, just watch the game. Well, your sacrifices were growing up where you didn't go out, did you? You didn't no. really go out with friends and you were just always doing sport, which meant my commitment to that was I was driving you every night. It's what made us so close, but mm -hmm. then also I don't think we would have been able to do it if we weren't so close because we spent so, so much, much time, time together. together. Do you remember the days when we'd get home literally two o'clock in the morning sometimes, yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah, then we'd get home, you get up and we'd do it all again. You would always just support me and everything there, and I was always so grateful for everything you did. And nothing feels like a, a sacrifice at all because that's what I wanted to do to support you anyway, and you were just, you know, so committed to everything. The most... Um, the most difficult time was when you moved to America. Oregon, yeah. I thought the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. That was different. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. That was really difficult. Yeah, because we were so close, so weren't close. we? And, and I remember just, just driving back from the airport. I couldn't even drive. I had yeah. to keep pulling over. <laughs> that was really hard. Like, that you know, was just difficult. going so, so far away. And yeah. And I think mm -hmm. that's the most amazing thing about what London Lions is doing. It's like it's allowing British players, like the elite British players, to play at home, you know. And even seeing like Joe, like obviously we're siblings, but that's really nice mm -hmm. that I get to see him more often. But I think coming here and it was mm -hmm. like... It was, I was the best decision, yeah. The best decision mm -hmm. I've ever made in my life. Well, I always say it, like I wouldn't be where I am without mm -hmm. you. And like that is complete fact, like there is, there's no way. But you've always been there for me, you know, through whenever I've had difficult times. You're just different to anybody I know. Oh, thanks. You're my bestie. Thank you. You're my bestie too. Uh, what have I sacrificed? My mental health. <laughs> I don't think I've sacrificed anything because at the end of the day, I wouldn't change anything of what I've done. I love my life and I love what I do, so it's not a sacrifice to me. I think mental health to me is something like really close to my heart. A lot of the time you do do it behind closed doors. I went to Oregon, um, committed there in 2018, went 2019. Just the whole setup was just my first, I guess, exposure to what a pro basketball program looks like. And it was amazing. Um, I think a lot of the time, like, you know, everyone asks me, why, why did I leave Oregon? Why um, everything like that? But, you know, you never know what's going on in someone's life. And I think for me, I just wasn't ready to go. And it's, I, it's sad to me now that, you know, I didn't really get that opportunity to give it everything I had because for me, success was getting out of bed every day and doing all the little things. I think I have to give myself like the grace to, you know, you know, you weren't okay and it's not your fault. Just don't be afraid to like admit that you have a problem or ask for help. I think my mum, my mum saw me struggle every single day and she's probably the only person that, you know, was there by my side throughout it all. She never judged me. She never made my problems feel like they weren't a problem or anything like that and I think she was just always there and I think forever like I'll be grateful for that that was so important to me and you know I wouldn't be here without her like I would not be on this earth without her so she's just everything to me just having those those real voices of trust around me um, is just really important and I just value those those few individual people um, rather than the whole world and what everyone wants to say on Twitter because British basketball Twitter is crazy, let me tell you. <laughs> People really don't realise, you know, how much words can hurt and I think how much influence you can have on someone's life when you really don't mean to. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. As Amy always says to me, you're not popping if you don't have haters, so I guess I'm popping. Because I've got a lot of haters. <laughs> I guess a moment for me and the people around me that was, I think, I guess, really made everything worth it was, I think, re-signing for London in the previous summer. London Lions, we are dominant in the domestic league and we've created this dominance from hard work and going at each other in practice every single day. And we are inspiring not only little girls, little boys too. And I think I'm blessed with this opportunity and I can't take it for granted any day.
Mark to me has just been, again, an amazing person in my life. I'll still stay in touch with him, you know, he's not my coach anymore, but he's a friend and he really saw potential in me and saw saw me for who I was and I think I really appreciated that. So I'll always be grateful for everything he's done. She's just a really well-rounded individual. She's a very likable person that cares about the people around her. It's not easy to be a professional sports person. Well, I think it's uh, it's making sure that the, the highs don't get too high and the lows don't get too low. Because if you get as high as Holly could get on some of the great performances she had, then it's a long way down sometimes. And I think now she's in a position where she can keep everything in perspective. She should be aspiring to a really elite level, but there's no ceiling on her game. She's the only ceiling on her game. Learning how to, you know, stay on that line, you know, never too high, never too low has been a huge thing for me. Um, and also just learning that I can trust myself and trust my intuition and trust what I'm doing and having all this expectation and pressure, you know, it is difficult, um, but I think I have to remember I am 22 and all I have to do is every day make myself 1% better, enjoy my time, enjoy my life. And you know what, I just have to focus on the now and the future will take care of itself.